Hello and welcome. My name is Markus Becker, Technical Director at NTI Audio. I'm proud to presenting you some brand new powerful features for the FX100 audio analyzer today. The FX100 is now able to perform anaerobic frequency response measurements in reverberant rooms. The FX control software supports this feature with comfortable tools that allow to identify and visualize acoustic reflections and to display the results as impulse response or energy time curve measurements. The user can graphically set the time window for the glide sweep measurements right in front of the actual reflections. The reflections are consequently masked out, which means that only the direct sound from the loudspeaker is considered. This video shows you step by step how to execute such a measurement. Let's first take a look at the test setup. A microphone is placed in front of the speaker. The distance is approximately 1 meter. Below the microphone and the speaker there is a desk. Behind the microphone there is a glass wall. Both the desk and the wall create acoustic reflections. In the FX control software, we set up a glide sweep and initiate a first acoustic frequency response measurement. As expected, the test environment is full of reflections. Therefore, we see lots of ripple in the frequency response. We now need to know when the reverberations arrive at the microphone and ideally also what causes them. The FX control software offers a tool that allows you to analyze the acoustic response and thus to identify the reflections. In the adjustment panel, we display the energy time curve, ETC, or the impulse response of the acoustical system. In the lower graph, we display the acoustic frequency response. Let's start by acquiring the impulse response. The impulse response measurement is normalized, so that the main peak occurs at 0 milliseconds. This helps to identify the time when the first reflection kicks in. In our example, this happens at 3.44 milliseconds. The FX control software also displays the equivalent distance to that time. In our case, this corresponds to 1.19 meter. Also, the 1 meter distance from the loudspeaker to the microphone is measured. The first reflection travels 1.19 meter longer than the direct sound, which makes a total of 2.19 meter. It thus becomes clear that the sound waves bouncing back from the desk are the source for the first reflection. Let's repeat the analysis for the second reflection. In the impulse response graph, we see that the reflection arrives at the microphone 10 milliseconds after the direct sound, equivalent to a 3.46 meter longer distance. The total travel length of the second reflection is therefore 1 plus 3.46 equaling 4.46 meter. In the setup, we see that this is the sound that bounces back from the wall behind the microphone. The reverberant characteristic of the room also becomes apparent in the frequency response. A strong ripple is caused by added and subtracted room reflections. The solution to this problem is to limit the impulse by a time window, so that we only consider the direct sound signal. The reflections are cut off. The frequency response is then calculated based on the time windowed impulse response. In FX control, this can be easily done by sliding the time window slightly in front of the first reflection. The consequences on the frequency response measurement become immediately visible. The ripple disappears, since only the direct sound is considered. On the other hand, we also lose some information. The results in the low frequency range become uncertain. This is indicated by graying out this section. If we slide back the time window across the desk and wall reflection, there is a strong ripple visible in the frequency response, which is called room modes. These are caused by the fact that the reflections are added to or subtracted from the direct sound. In any case, they falsify the measurements and are therefore undesirable. 
Once the adjustments for a measurement setup have been established, the time window settings are kept and stored in the project file. The NTI Audio FX100 offers powerful yet easy to use tools for testing acoustic devices in reverberant environments. If you need further information or wish to discuss your application with one of our specialists, please feel free to contact us. Thank you for your attention and goodbye.